Hello friends, good evening. Today was a very important day and uh, I observed something very important today so I think it is worth sharing. It is encouraging to see that uh, some more people have joined our channel and um, it is uh, being watched increasingly. So I will keep up with my promise of whenever new subscriber come, I will keep the updated and even today, even otherwise I would have recorded this video today. If you remember the last video that I made was on 16th and I said that 17,000, this was a marked line, right? 17,260, which you see now in red was a very important level because it marks the, on mark the super trend lower bound or the super trend support level in the daily chart today it has been decisively been broken uh, of course the morning uh, the first half was very bearish but in the afternoon we recovered especially in the last three uh, one hourly candles that if you i will plot them uh, so it started uh, after 115 uh, onwards but nevertheless on closing basis we have closed it below this 17,260 line um, and now if we look at the RSI so I am also plotting the related so this is the direction so the, uh, the trend is now negative or the bearish in super trend and the hourly though was, uh, had gone bearish even uh, on uh, even last weekend itself so uh, hourly had been uh, 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 super trend had been bearish so since i'm using a free version i cannot put i cannot plot more than four things at a time so i will first make my point here today and then i will bring in the other super trend so now is uh, um, I, if i would su suggest and request that those who have not watched my 16th april 16th video the last video that is uh, please go and watch it so there have i have spoken about some imp imp important things regarding the super trend in a, any way so, so 17260 which was a major support level so this marks the end of this uptrend on the daily chart which started on 16th march so today that uptrend has been decisively broken by the super trend in the nifty daily chart itself we are looking at the nifty futures and in the rsi also so this is the direction of the trend so this marks the end of this uptrend now if we look at the moment direction one is direction another is the momentum so rsi is um, on the daily chart is below 50 that means now uh, it is more in the favor of the bears and on hourly chart it is though below 40 that means it is unless uh, we see at least the hourly chart of the rsi going crossing over 40 and taking a support at 40 so we cannot say th that any reversal has happened so i don't know whether i am um, uh, what methodology you follow some people follow some kind of time based analysis like astrology or based on uh, um, uh, planetary motions or whatever but i don't believe uh, i don't think it is my job or it is anybody's job to predict what you, you you have not it is not our job to predict the future but to see um, objectively what the charts are telling us the charts are telling us that even on the daily time frame and even on the hourly time frame things are extremely bearish now and the, this is not the right time to go for contra trades yes i have mentioned the possibility of taking contra trades using call option near this zone but then i also said clear, quite clearly that if 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 it closes below the 17260 level that is below the daily rsi support level so then you will have to book the loss and that was the stop loss so though if you have taken any long position i would suggest that the stop loss has been hit and uh, uh, actually i uh, actually i have um, also now this is a kind of territory from which there may be some reversal happening because you see a dodgy candle coming up and we will see more of this in the um, uh, hourly uh, super trend and hourly candles 
so uh, i in i have also uh, booked out of my, uh, the profits in my uh, put positions or shorts the whatever i was having and now i think uh, um, it is it, it is in a very um, important you know, the market is in a very important uh, the nifty future is uh, we have to watch it very carefully what happens on tuesday but unless on the hourly chart the rsi goes above 40 and on the hourly chart uh, on the super trend uh, things improve we, there is no way we can talk about any bear, uh, bullish trades right now in fact if on uh, um, if on even on uh, after tomorrow the rsi uh, even on the hourly charts do not go above 40 and uh, the price action still there is some uptrend and goes close to the uh, hourly super trend uh, resistance level then there may be a good op opportunity of taking a contra position for the short trades using the put option if you understand what i am talking so um, but the main thing is that today we can uh, we as of today as based on today's closing we are decisively now in bearish territory so please be cautious neither the direction that is the, neither the trend nor the momentum is in our favor so please don't take uh, contra trade especially using future so i'm cautioning it now uh, some miracle may happen as tomorrow tomorrow you may have a brilliant pullback rally so unless things improved on the rsi on hourly chart or on uh, or on the super trend i will keep the updates but as of now i'm cautioning this is not the time to take contract rates okay so especially using please avoid futures as of now and those who are uh, already having a short position you, you can continue to you uh, i i have booked profit but if you yet have not booked profit then i would suggest that this uh, 17260 level maybe 10 20 points above it would be a good stop loss kind of level so and this is almost like now um, uh, uh, it is better to watch this chart so one thing is con conclusive the uh, uptrend that started on 16th march here has today been decisively closed and so uh, in terms of uh, so um, that direction or the trend is bear bearish the momentum is also bearish now let us look at the hourly chart let me now take out the uh, rsi in the hourly chart maybe maybe in the daily chart let me take it because i am really constrained by the number of indicators that i can plot at times it is not bad also mm, super trend let me make it hourly one hour and uh, let me make me add again super trend right so that will be now chart okay so now you go there we go so now what i have done is i am now looking at the daily chart with the super trend at hourly and uh, the, so you see the hourly super trend had already turned bearish on from 7th april itself i had given a caution on the 6th april based on some of them um, if you can also watch that video so now today both the daily and the hourly rsis have turned bearish so until on the hourly chart the rsi uh, so sorry the super trend is becoming bullish that is you again see the beginning of this green line on the hourly chart there is uh, i will not say that the eight, any trend reversal has a, a, the bullish trend will not resume so we have now a trend reversal and the rsi as you can see is, see is the momentum is also with the bears so now let me bring in something called my favorite indicator which the other favorite indicator is moving average convergence divergence so you may find this a bit um, complicated today's analysis i am using several indicators because that is the only way i feel to use it so now if you see the macd so here firmly 
uh, if there was any doubt the day before yesterday, the crossover has happened. So all the indicators, whether it is MACD <coughs> or the super trend, these are trend following indicators and the RSI is the momentum indicator. Everything is now in the, uh, is in the favor of the bears. Now you may see some green candles. I will show you in the hourly chart. So let me now make it hourly one hour. So this is slightly complicated analysis. So let <coughs> now, <coughs> now I would suggest that in hourly chart this MACD becomes highly deceptive. Okay, so let us keep it da daily itself because these are based on moving averages. So they keep on changing very frequently in the hourly <coughs> chart. <coughs> So on the daily chart, the MACD is firmly below the signal line and uh, the super trend is bearish. Now you may see some three green candles starting from 115 onwards, 115, 215 and the last 15 minutes. Now these are purely short covering rallies. Okay, the, you may have a fantastic short covering rally that may go up even uh, uh, from this level you may it may go up 200 300 points above but then on at least on an hourly chart if the, these things uh, if if this is not broken and rsi is not crossing above 40 then there is a high chance that this may be uh, uh, these are short covering rallies and these may be bull traps so here many people make so uh, please don't be fooled by these kind of moves and this we are in uh, as of now as of today's price action and indicators we are in bearish territory now so i think in the, uh, my message is now clear N uh, do not go for aggressive longs as of now until i come up with my further update and uh, if we see we will look for opportunities if there are pullback rallies and maybe somewhere close to this uh, RSI uh, super trend uh, resistance we may try to and we, we may we may I am saying we may attempt a uh, put option let's see that's not as of now I cannot uh, talk about it so and um, that's for now so be, uh, I am cautioning that the again I end with this one one day that's the larger time frame So the um, bottom line is this, that the rally bull, that is the bull run that started on 16th March, actually uh, its seats were sown on 40, 11th March when this crossover had happened. And uh, so uh, you see in the on the hourly chart, so it became green much earlier from 9th March, but you had this crossover on the daily uh, slightly late. On, because this is on the daily uh, candles and then the hourly uh, moving up, uh, hourly super trend was positive and it became on, on daily chart it became positive on from 16 March and that has ended today. So we are now in the bearish territory. Be cautioned. Thank you.